you, uh, Senator Fulmer. Thank you, uh, thank you for your presentation, um, both uh, to the secretary and to your staff. And as you know from our from our meeting that we had back in July, I had some questions at that time about the process, and and uh, and I think the process that you have developed, I think, appears to be a good process. Um, and personally, I'd had quite a few meetings over the last several years on this issue and had kind of moved from a position of not really being too interested in moving forward with this and to one where I was more open to actually proceeding with uh, considering the legislation that we had. And as you know, we have legislation that's been introduced in both the House and the Senate to authorize this, uh, this online voter registration. Um, and that was really, I think, one of the points that I'd left you with during our during our meeting back in July was I was concerned that uh, that the executive branch doesn't have the full statutory authority to move forward with this. And you cited some of those provisions that we talked about yeah. earlier. Um, and th I think the point that I wanted to, to raise with you today is 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 what uh, is what uh, your deputy secretary, uh, Ms. Schneider, had 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 brought up and during her comment. She mentioned that uh, that you developed a process that this was developing a process. And in section 1321 of the law, we specify four methods of voter registration, in person, by mail, motor voter, or government agency. Um, so, so in that, we did not specify yeah. a process for, for the online voter registration, which I think is, is why you saw uh, Representative Daley's legislation introduced and, and Senator Smucker's in it, legislation right. introduced was to develop that process because just one of the one of the points that are that are mentioned in the legislation that I think we still needed to grant statutory authority for is related to the signature of the uh, re registering applicant to be utilized from PennDOT to the to the county um, and to the sure system for their voter application, um, you know, among among those provisions that, that we've seen in, in both pieces of legislation, there's a declaration that the use of the electronic application is consent to use the applicant's PennDOT signature, and the legislation also require includes a requirement that the department obtain an electronic signature from PennDOT. So. Kind of a couple of questions, um, and if you don't have the answers today, I'd be happy to have you follow up with me with your with your staff and your your legal counsel. Sure. Um, but where is the provision of current law that establishes the department's authority to use the PennDOT signature? And more importantly, what provision of statute established the link between the online applicant and the consent to use the applicant's signature? 